All right, folks, we're, we're here with Mike Cartozo. He's not with Home Depot, he's with The Home Depot. And we're going to talk about the preparedness kit that, that people need to have. And again, it's self-explanatory. Self this is not something you put together last minute. It's something that you, you want to have in advance. Well, yes, take some time, think through it. Really give some time to the things you know you need, the okay. things you might not immediately realize that you need, but do, and have it in a safe place, in a bin like this, somewhere where everybody in the family knows where it is. Don't put it in the garage and bury it, you know, so you got to look for it. Have it accessible and let everybody know where it is and do it in advance. Now, very quickly, I know we don't want to just stay on this the entire time, but you want it to be in something enclosed like this that's water safe, at least safe from moisture. Yeah, something that's big enough to contain all this stuff, obviously. Something that's sturdy, like this one from Rubbermaid. Okay. Um, they've got these with wheels, so they're a little more maneuverable. If you've got a large family, you may have a series of smaller ones, so they're a little more easy to move around. But some place that you can put all this stuff and just store it long term. Now, and speaking of stuff, what stuff do we want in this box? Well, there's the obvious stuff, things like tarps, things right. like first aid kits, which hopefully you won't need, but you might. Water is critical, obviously. You want, on average, a gallon per person per day. And obviously, you don't know how long you'll be gone from your home, but imagine three to five days and mm -hmm. plan for that. When you're through with this, I'll, any extra space, I'd fill it with water. I see. And then food, obviously, things that are unperishable, things like, you know, uh, energy bars and soups. A can opener is a great idea, but these new cans with the snap tops are even difference. better in case Absolutely. you lose that. Batteries, weather radios, we've got these with cranks in case the batteries run down or, or you run out of batteries. Walkie talkies, all of those obvious things. But then there's things that you might not think about. Things like clothing. Sure. You know, that if makes you're going to be away from home for Most four definitely. or five days, to have a couple of changes of clothing is a lifesaver. Work gloves, because when you get back after the storm, who knows what you're going to find? Or when you're driving around down trees, power lines, all that kind of stuff. Um, big garbage bags, things to clean up with. And this is critical. People don't think about this. Copies of important documents, things like birth certificates, Most definitely. insurance sure. policies, things that might be gone when you get home. And then, you know, what are you going to do? So you want to have those. But again, like you said, have all this stuff. Think about it now and take some time and think through it. Have a family plan too, a communication plan, because it's not guaranteed that your entire family will stay together the whole time. You may get separated at some point. So have the numbers of relatives who live in other states. Have a place that everybody calls okay. to check in so you can communicate through a third party if you need to. Well, we